SJ Talks in Life back at you. I'm going to play this video about this preacher and I'll be back with my commentary. See, that's how I know you still poor, broke, busted, and disgusted because of how you've been honoring me. I'm not worth your McDonald's money. I'm not worth your Red Lobster money. What the? I ain't worth your St. John Nick. What? Mm. I ain't worth y'all Louis Vuitton. Ain't that about it, man? I ain't worth your Prada. What? I ain't worth your Gucci. Come on. Come on. Mother, ooh, I'm saying this, and I promise you, Deacon, it's not with respect and want. I'm saying it because I want you to understand just what God is saying. We even found out that Mavado. God ain't said that. Mavado watch in Sam's. And y'all know I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't said nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. He a mess. Now that's a hot mess. That is a hot mess. He's sitting up here asking the congregation. He just finishes out of Kansas City. He's sitting up here asking the congregation for talking about, am I worth your McDonald's and your Red Lobster? And naming off designers and stuff. What in the world kind of church is this? What's up with them lights and flashy lights and stuff in the background? That's crazy. Um, like that preacher in New York that had that fake robbery. Guys, you got to be careful who you go to worship. This man is is um, this ridiculous. This man is ridiculous. Standing up there asking the people f for uh, to buy a watch. And then the lady in the audience have the nerve to agree with him. I would have got up and walked right out the church. If I was sitting in that church, I would have got right over them up and walked out of the church. People, people better start opening up their eyes and stop going to these wolves and sheep's clothing ministers. They're, they're operating on greed. And then he said something about God. God said, God ain't said nothing like that. People better start reading their Bibles. True story. Me and my friend was uh, visiting. We were kind of doing some church hopping. And we went to this one church. Uh, well, kind of well-known church in town. And the minister, literally, the preacher, uh, literally stood in the back of the church. They was taking up a collection for something. They literally stood in the back of the church by the door and said, y'all niggas didn't give enough money. <laughs> he called us some niggas. Me and my friend looked at each other and busted out laughing. I said, no, he didn't just call us some niggas. <laughs> he said, y'all niggas didn't give enough money. <laughs> Guys, you got to stop going to these ministers. People need to start reading their scripture. Tithing is not scripture it, it, it's in the old law and it's not under the old law and it, it that uh, that scripture didn't even apply to us it, it says in the new law you you are not to give under compulsion god loves a cheerful giver it didn't it didn't say it's in the old law it didn't say anything tithing is not it, it's not the the ministers are taking that scripture and they're twisting it they're taking that those scriptures and they're twisting it. You're supposed to they you they supposed to when they take up collections it's supposed to be voluntary and that money is supposed to go into the ministry. It's supposed to go for the upkeep and maintenance of the church, and and it's supposed to go strictly into the ministry. The Bible says, "If a man don't work, he don't eat." So the pastor is is supposed to have he's supposed to be literally working. And that money is supposed to go into the church. And if any members need any kind of assistance to help the, the church members and to help the community. I know a lot of churches have food pantries. I know there's a lot of churches that do food pantries and things like that. That's what the money's supposed to go to. This is not supposed to go to the minister buying him coats and and and, and, and watches and 
and um, cars and a big old, you, he driving a Cadillac or whatever, or, or Benz, and you riding around in a, a old raggedy hoopty. I mean, it's not supposed to go down like that. These ministers are greedy. People better start reading their Bible. You got to start reading your Bible. You got to use the sermon. You got to pray. Um, this is not this is not acceptable. He getting up there, calling his his church members broke. In 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 the economy being the way it is. This economy being the way it is, that is not loving. It is not love loving to get up there and call your parishioners broke and busted. That is not okay. I would have literally got up and walked out of that church. That is unacceptable in every sense of the word. That is not okay. To stand there and call your church members broke. That is not okay. Like, just like, uh, what's her name, um... I did a little video on her. Uh, I can't think of her name right now. She did. She said something similar to that. What is wrong with these? What is wrong with people? People are going nuts. People are losing their minds. What's going on with people? Is that snake oil? I mean, what Peach Preacher's been doing this kind of stuff for years. It's nothing new. But this is crazy. It seems like they're getting worse. But you know, Bible, the Bible, uh, Bible said many will come in my name. He said many will come in my name. Beware of false prophets. Many will come in my name. If that's what it said, do not put your trust in man. That's scriptural. It's the reason why God put those scriptures in the Bible. Don't put your trust in man. These ministers are greedy. People need to start reading them scriptures and studying them scriptures. And um. Mm -mm. Stop going to these churches with these preachers, and they don't—they they don't have a pure heart. When they're doing stuff like this, they don't have a pure heart. They're not operating on a pure heart. You know, they got a bad spirit. Okay, let me know if you've seen this. It's, it's been trending all over social media. Let me know if you've seen this. This is this crazy. Um, yeah, guys, please read your Bible. Please read your Bible. Yeah, this is crazy. You know, we we all need, and I'm including me in that too. We need to read our Bibles and study our Bibles. Pray and ask God to give us an understanding of what we're reading. We need to stop listening to these religions and these ministers. We need to read our Bibles and study our Bibles. Because it's so easy to be deceived. And pray, pray and ask God to give you a Holy Spirit and give you of a, of discernment to be able to tell who's who's real authentic. Just stick to your Bible. Just okay. There's some good men saying. I'm saying they're all like this, but be careful, people. Be careful. Read. Stick to the scriptures. Stick to the scriptures. Everything they say, you're supposed to be going to them scriptures, searching and see if they what they're saying it lines up anyways. Okay. This is crazy. Let me know if you heard about this story. All right. Like, subscribe, notification, bell, and share.